Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm reviewing this Paradigm Monitor SE Atom Bookshelf Speaker, which is two way design with rear ported. It comes with five way uh, good quality binding post. It may not take a whole length of banana plugs, but it gets into three quarter of the way and it has this uh, front speaker grill that is a plastic grill pretty thick it should be around like half inch thick with the speaker clothing six pins attachment with this specially cut out area for this waveguide and bass driver but for the price wise i'm not complaining in overall build quality is very well built a uh, pair of speaker that you can get in around $300 price range. Overall, fit and finish and build quality is as good as it can get in this price point and better than uh, many speakers are offering in this price range as well in terms of build quality. So I tried these uh, Atom Bookshelf speaker in two different rooms this music room and my den six different amps that i try this is my main amp a uh, deno pme sx11 as well as this uh, ph3 uh, nova 300 and this super entry level all-in-one integrated amplifier from lox g which is model 830 in my den i try with deno pme 2004r and ph3 nova 150 and sms a da9 with suncoast laqxt1 digital analog converter so with all the amplifiers that i try in different digital analog converters what i notice is the yeah, this one have the its own sound quality and signature sound that it can deliver no matter what equipment you pair them with it has the ability to retain its own voice doesn't get much of influence by pairing amplifiers so but uh, there you can notice a little bit like this Dano BME SX11 which has the uh, you know neutral but uh, it, a bit on the warmer side of sound signature so that sound quality you can notice in mid-range and upper mid-range area the neutral sounding this kind of entry level integrated amplifier have a nice and vivid kind of sound quality and this nova 300 offer com comparing these other amps and it's also have a you know able to retain it on sound signature so it may be a good thing it may not be a good thing for some people with all the amplifiers that i try i end up preferring this uh, laos g830 for the synergy and pairing components so that that's most of the people that's what they will use in especially you know these kind of entry level bookshelf speakers so build quality is really good for entry level bookshelf overall sound quality is very convincingly good for entry level $300 price range of pair of bookshelf speaker that you can buy so out of the box bass quality and lower mid range and those area can be a little bit congested and not as clean as I would prefer but after like 100 hours or so it's all clean up and it's very nice and very good definition and detail that it can produce and upper mid range to highs and those areas are very vivid and spacious sound there are a little bit of downside that I like to mention it later so overall soundscape is very wide and spacious this one has a bigger sound stage than the uh, Dali Obero one that I try SVS Prime bookshelf even in this room this one have ability to fill with big and wide and spacious sound stage with great dynamic range for this price point of the speaker it has the uh, good definition good amount of detail sound quality with very well extended highs so when i took the uh, in-room response with this speaker as you will notice and as you will see here overall frequency response is very decent and very good for this price point and this kind of bookshelf speaker and the uh, bass performance can totally show the uh, 
quality of this five and quarter inch base driver. It's really impressed me in terms of base reproduction out of this speaker. Base quality, probably one of the best in the price range. It can easily rival up to $500 price range of Booksha speaker in terms of quality and quantity of the base reproduction. It can be a little bit congested in, you know, upper bass to lower mid-range transitional area depends on what music you play in but is acceptable in this price point upper mid-range to high frequency there i have a little bit of you know downside for me so mid-range is very nice and very dynamic very spacious and it has a nice space between the notes so instrument separation is as good as it can be in this price point. So human voices and vocals are accurate, but the singing voices can get a tad bright for my taste and high frequency and upper mid-range area have the uh, slight brightness that are uh, not really suit my taste, no matter what equipment I pair them with. This Paradigm Atom was able to retain its own sound signature. That that's what I mean by that. So that upper mid-range to high frequency brightness that uh, I did not like. So what I did was when I was using this uh, Loxy A30, I jump into the menu and I change the uh, treble, reduce the treble around 8 decibel. Then uh, it slightly better control in that kind of a frequency range upper mid range to high frequencies so this speaker is really suitable if you have a tone control or if you have an equalizer or even if you're gonna use with dsp bass performance mid range and upper mid range with very good high frequency extension so that will deliver you very vivid and spacious and detailed sound quality, then uh, you have to get rid of the brightness that you may experience. So mainly I listen to DSD files and all that. So even with all the high quality files that I have, that brightness that never go away. Overall sound quality and detailed sound reproductions, sound accuracy and spaciousness and dynamic range, this one can easily rival to such as a Dali Over 1 or Kev Q350 or even you know bigger speakers such as RP600M in terms of sound stage and skill that it can offer. And one more thing that I was impressed by this Atom speaker is this one provide good and wide spacious sound yet it has a good depth that I can totally appreciate. So if if you are able to control the high frequency and upper mid-range brightness, you will have the uh, great speaker for the money, high resolution with very good bass performance out of this speaker. So if you like the uh, overall sound quality of this paradigm, uh, Atom uh, SE Bookshare speakers, I would suggest you to pair with equalizer or digital sound processing because it will give you very good sound without spending a lot of money. But as it came from the factory, the upper mid range and high frequency brightness that I did not like. So that is my finding using these uh, Paradigm Atom SE speakers. So these bookshelf speakers are for the people who wants to use with equalizer or DSP and they will have a very good sounding entry level speaker that can provide you high resolution sound quality with very good bass performance and attack with wide and spacious soundstage. So that's it my friend, that is my quick review. Thank you for watching and happy listening.
Rainbows and 